Hello, hi, I'm Lycaeus, and I'm going to talk about how to put thrusters on your ship. Now, there's two ways of going about this. One is using easy build mode and putting module thrusters on. The other is doing it by hand. We're going to start with easy build mode first. Uh, there was a previous issue where your easy build mode wouldn't allow you to snap on modules. Well, the reason that was happening is the original starter ship was bugged. Now, if your current ship doesn't allow you to snap anything, you can redo the tutorial. You would go and you would redo the repair job. If you've already completed the tutorial, you can click on it. You go repair that ship and it will reward you with another starter ship. Then you can disable the tutorial, take that ship and put modules on that one and use it as your new ship. If you wanted to get rid of your old ship, you could go to your ships tab. And you see I've got these different ships I've worked on. I select one and I hit decommission, type out delete, and I can get it deleted or you can salvage it for parts. I'd recommend doing that. So let's start. Let's put some thrusters on our ship using easy build mode. This is the easiest way to do it, the fastest way. And I feel like most people are gonna do this unless you're building it by hand or designing a ship in the ship designer. And I'll cover that in a future video. To start, you wanna unlock a thruster. You would research all the basic parts up until here. Once you've unlocked cargo containers, you can lock tier one thruster. You wanna unlock these. These will allow you to build modules of a thruster and the thruster themselves. There's two types. There's a box thruster and a triangle thruster. I'm gonna cover the different types. Once you have it unlocked, you can come into this crafting menu here, craft it in easy build because you need to be by a crafting bench. If you're gonna do modules, you wanna make a L-shaped tier one box thruster module. There's a top and a bottom. These are actually the same thing. It doesn't matter which one you make. You can just flip one over and I'll show you how to do that. You can also craft the thrusters yourselves and you can craft this in frames. So I've already got these crafted. We've got the box thruster module. We're gonna come and put it on our ship. In this orientation, it will fit on the bottom of your ship. It won't fit on the top because the ducts are on the inside of the frame. In order to put it up here, I'd have to flip it over like that. And I could make it face forward, I can make it face back. Let's say I wanna take them off. Grab your welding tool while in easy build mode, right click, comes off. We're gonna place two thrusters real quick, one on top, one on bottom, and then we'll test them. So, snap it onto my frame. I've got the top. There we go. So, I've got a top and I've got a bottom thruster. They are connected to the ship because the thruster module has the ducts built on the inside of the plating. And they're all touching. One thing you need to know about thrusters, and I'll pull one out here. The way they connect to the ship and receive energy and fuel, they have a hard point on the top and the bottom. That has to be touching a hard point. And these white boxes here are the hard points. I think I have a free one over here, right here. These are hard points. They come in large and small. They have to make physical contact with the thruster and be bolted on for it to receive power and fuel. You don't have to wire it up like a socket. Now the hard point does have to be wired in. So if we look here, turn my light on, I go to the inside. Here's a socket. So the outsides of the hard point, I have a maneuver thruster on it. The maneuver thrusters, you just place them and bolt them down under the hard point, they'll fire. The socket has to either be touching the cable. This one has a, a three-piece intersection cable duct. It has to be touching the duct. It's been bolted on the inside, make a physical contact. Now this socket will provide power and propulsion. You can also just use a data cable and do that, but I'll show you that when I do it by hand. How do we test them? We get out of easy build mode, pull up my universal tool. Once the ship is reloaded, you wanna select the body of the thruster when using your universal tool because if you hit let's say this back part and I'll show you when I build it by hand this isn't actually a part of the, the frame of the thruster this is a attachment so you come here and you hit the body of the thruster you'll see on the right side data is being updated that means it's connected to the network 
On the left side, you'll see that it has a number assigned to it and a value. If that is zero, it means it's not communicating with the main flight controller and it's not being given a value. Looks good to go. Let's check this one. This one has also been given a number and a value. Easiest way to test it, honestly, is just to get in your ship. Let's say we turn on cruise mode for this ship. I'm going to turn my back thruster all the way up. Which actually, let me turn off centering speed. Alright, ship is all the way up. It's going to fly backwards. And then I apply just a little bit of thrust. Just enough to cancel the momentum. There we go. We're pretty much stationary. So we see that the front thruster is firing. Let's go check the thrusters we set up. They are, they're firing. That's good to go. All my other thrusters are firing except for this one. Now this one's firing just very hard to see. Actually, it's not firing. That one is. This one's not been properly connected, has it? No, oh, there we go. It's got 14. So you'll see that this number means it is firing. It would have been zero. If thrust is applied, it goes up. So we'll see this one's probably a higher value. 130, 126. And this one's probably 400. Okay, so the thrusters are connected correctly. The reason this one's not firing as heavy is because these thrusters on this side is giving this side enough thrust. Okay, let's say you want to connect your thrusters by hand. The modules isn't working, or you want to do something fancy. We'll still need to have unlocked the thruster tech tree. Along with that, in order to put the thrusters on your ship, you're going to need to make sure you have, under basics, hard points unlocked. Hard points are going to be what you connect to your ship. You can also, in the crafting tree, once you have those unlocked, you can come to thrusters and you can make the thruster box and the thruster triangle. And these you can spawn into the world. One issue you may have is since you're not using easy build mode, in order to get the thrusters and the triangles into the world, you'll have to be in easy build mode to actually spawn them. Or you can buy the pieces off the auction house. Like so, you go to parts, machinery, and type in thruster. From here, it'll show you for box thrusters, maneuver thrusters, uh, the internals, and triangle thrusters. In order to have a thruster, you'll need the body. You'll need a combustion chamber. A nozzle. There's a couple tiers. There's tier 1, 2, and 3. No one really has tier 3 yet. You'll also need the electricity and propellant converters. Now, that sounds kind of complicated, but it's not hard. So this is what the thruster looks like when it comes out of a module. So you buy it. Now let's say we wanted to break it apart. On the outside is the nozzle. It goes on the back. Inside that is the combustion chamber. It goes inside. And this is all mountable inside. You bolt it down. And then on the sides right here, you're going to have your... Blue is going to be your electricity or your data converter. And then your propulsion. Let's pull those out real quick. Let's connect them as well. So we have propellant. And we have electricity. Oh. This is going to be propellant. This is going to be electricity. Let's put them in here. We'll put these in last because they don't actually fit into the, the body. They fit into the combustion chamber. So you'll see that these are mounted inside. And then obviously you just pull them in and out. So we're going to reassemble it. Combustion chamber goes inside. And then the converters are already in place. The nozzle goes back on the end. And then let's bolt it down. So this is to hold the nozzle down. These on the sides right here hold the converters in. You don't really have to mount a lot. And then on the front is the combustion chamber. And if you also hold down auto bolt, it'll fill the rest in. So now it's in one piece. 
from here you're going to mount it onto your ship. Now how do you mount these on? Well, that's where socket boards or hard points come into play. So a hard point, the outside has one of these connectors and the back has a socket board. Triangle thruster is pretty much the same as a box thruster. It's just condensed and it's modular. So you can put multiple triangle thrusters side by side. And as long as these parts of the thruster are touching, they will share power and propellant. They mount from the back. The box thruster mounts from the top and the bottom. Let's, let's put one on. I have over here a frame ready to go. Inside the frame are ducts, which carry power and propulsion. So I'm going to line up my hard point on the outside. Then I'm going to bolt it in place. Now it's held on, it's connected. We're going to put my thruster on. Let's say I want it facing backwards. Or I want it facing forwards, it's going to be a forward thruster. I line it up. Make sure the hard point's touching. I think it is. And then I'm just going to auto bolt it down. Now, one thing you need to be aware of, you want all four bolting spots connected on your thruster. If you don't, let's say this one's not, you're going to have a little bit of a durability issue. So let's say I bolted my thruster up here. This isn't enough support around the thruster. I only have one bolt in it. It's going to have a durability issue and it's going to make my ship fly slower because it's prone to damage if I go too quickly. You can test that by pulling out your universal tool, loading the blueprint, and then activating durability. You'll see my warp class is 1.37. My thruster is green. Let's remove one of these bolts. It's still green. It's starting to show a little bit of an error. I think if I click on this, with my, let's see. There should be a way to read this. It might not show up for this, but it's showing up yellow. It means uh, there might be a little bit of an issue. Now let's remove one more bolt and you'll see it should transfer. Yep, now it's red. So that means, if I look at box thruster tier one, it thinks it's broken, but my warp class is down to 0.11, meaning it's gonna fly very slowly. You want to make sure it's bolted all the way around. I'll make sure the durability is high. Okay. Let's transition. Now, I've connected the box thruster. It's connected to a hard plate. But my hard, or my it's plate connected to a hard point. But the hard point isn't actually connected to the ship. The way I would test this, I'd look at the body of the thruster, not the nozzle or any of the other pieces. Because if I use the nozzle and I try and pull up data, it's not populating, meaning there's no actual data coming in and out. It's not changing. We want to make sure we're looking at the body. You'll see that you're getting input. That's good. From here, you'll see that it's been labeled. It has a value. But, how do we know if it's actually connected? The field is out. So once we actually wire up using the cable tool for data and the pipe tool for propulsion, you'll see that the field is actually changing. Now we should see both in and outputs, right? External, good. This is what it should look like. It should rapidly change. That means it's actually connected to the system. If it was just feeding slowly like before, you probably not connected your hard point to the system yet. It's good to go. Now let's test it. Same way of testing it as uh, before. We're just gonna put this on cruise. Full reverse power, slide forward. Let's see if it's actually doing anything. We do have thrust. We can check the data. Gas network, everything's good to go. 53 instead of zero. If your ship is causing you problems, let's turn this off. So let's say when you've connected it, 
picked up your thruster, but it's not working. Something's wrong. You're sure that you've connected both the data and the propulsion because it's feeding like this, but it's being weird with the numbers. What do you do then? Well, at that point, you go verify your flight controller is hooked up properly. So your flight controller, there's two types. I can actually show you the parts here. It'd be under, you should just type in flight. There are two. One is the flight control unit, and the other is the main flight computer. This one, in the box I'm going to show you first, this one just handles the inputs from your controls, and this is what actually gives the thrusters value. So this red one here, you'll see that all these values, let's see if I can scroll in here, all these values are assigned, forward, backwards, pitch, yaw, roll. When you make your levers, that's what you want to name them. This value will go up and down, that's how it controls the ship. Make sure that the name of this and the value is the same for both controllers. And they are, so they're communicating with each other. If I had another flight controller, it would show up here and give it a value. And then here's all the thrusters, 1 through 50. So it's giving them a value and that number goes up when it wants them to change. So just make sure that these are connected and they're the same name. If the thrusters aren't working, disconnect them and reconnect them to the network. And then when they're connected, it should automatically assign them a number and it should populate this value. Now, you will see occasionally some of these thrusters are going to duplicate names. So this one is thruster 1. If I come over here and see if any of these are thruster one as well. This one's six, this one's one as well. That's okay. It's okay if they're the same because they're both rear facing thrusters. So if it sets the value for thruster one to be fully on and they both burn, that's fine. They're both gonna turn on and you're gonna go forwards. Okay, that's all I have, that's all I've got. You got any questions or anything, let me know. I think I'm going to cover uh, how to set up generators, how to set up the script for the generator, and then from there we're going to do a simple ship construction build. 